Hey guys, so today I am teaching Danny how to speak American. Let's get on this. I don't actually speak American, but I've gone to a website called projectbritain.com or .co.uk, I'll put a link in the description, and I've taken all the words on there, and Danny's basically going to got to guess what the American word means in Britain. Okay, so the first word is biscuit. What does biscuit mean in America? When an American person says, I would like a biscuit, what, what do they want? A cookie? No. Really? No. Oh, I thought it would be that. Cookie? We say biscuit, they say cookie. But their name for biscuits is for something else that we are known to eat. Nope. Scones? Yep. Ah. How did you get that one? Tea and scones. Okay, so the next word is powdered sugar or confectioner's sugar. What is that? Icing sugar. That's icing sugar, yes. Okay, so the next word is French toast. What does that mean in our their language? Um, French toast. That's the American way of saying it. What do we call it? Ooh. Egg breads. Yeah, bread Egg breads. Eggy breads. Yeah. Okay, so the next one is called a jelly roll. A jelly roll. Now you got to think, what is jelly in America? Jelly is jam, so it's a jam sandwich. Jam roll. What's jam roll. What's a jam roll? <laughs> so jelly roll. What's is a it jelly like roll? jam that's got like... Thing and what's that called? Jam, jam swell? I don't know. Oh, that's a hard one. Give it up. Uh, so you kind of got it right, but you didn't know the name of it. It's actually called a Swiss roll or a mini oh. roll because we call them mini rolls because of the company brand name, mini roll. Oh. But the official name is called a Swiss roll. Do you oh, think you got that one? Holiday. Do you think you got that one? I you knew what you saw, but you just didn't know the name. I don't think I got that one. Okay, so the next American word is cotton candy. Cotton candy. That is. Oh, oh my God! I actually got this. Um, um, candy floss. Candy floss. Yeah, I'm good at this. Okay, the next word is an undershirt. What is an undershirt? An undershirt. So it's under your shirt, so it's probably going to be something like a vest. <laughs> yeah, it's a vest. Americans yeah. have a vest. What is that in England? Ooh. If why, then how did you say that? Oh, undershirt is a vest. So when someone says an undershirt, it's a vest. It's in a vest. Now what is a vest in America? A vest in America is an undershirt. Nope. An undershirt is a vest. But what's, that? what's a vest? Oh. Oh. Well, this is quite confusing. Oh my gosh, yeah, yes. Do you want to know this one? I want to know. Uh, a waistcoat. So like now, what is that? Another? What is a galosh? No clue. Is it clothing? Yeah. It's like a, a puffer jacket. A galosh is not a puck, puff, 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 puffer jacket. A puffer jacket. A puffer jacket. A, a welly, a welly, a welly. A wellington boots. But when we're wellington, wellington boots. boots, we're going on a hike. Okay, when you walk around in like mud and puddles, they go galosh, 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 galosh. Next one is rubber. Hey, pass me a rubber. What's a rubber? An no, eraser. I don't think you catch An eraser. No. An eraser. An eraser. An eraser. An eraser. The American word is eraser. Yeah. What's the British word? A rubber. A rubber. Okay, that wasn't one of the questions, but this next one. I might need a rubber tonight. <laughs> I might, need, I might need to rub her tonight. <laughs> when you translate it one way, it translates back the other way. I might need a... Uh, I don't know. A condom. Oh, I thought you were going to say corndog then. A oh, condom. Oh, I thought you were going to say corndog then. Thank you, come again. Hey, I need my sack lunch or my bag lunch. Okay, take out, take off the S pack lunch. What is recess? Recess? Is it like a study? No, how do you not get this one? This one's quite easy. Break time. Yeah. The next one is safe harbour. Is it like somewhere where you can be safe? It means you're safe. No. It means you've got bodyguards? No. The clue is that it's something to do with TV. Um, oh. There's a flag. Go away, flag. Keep away, Go away, flag, you bitch. You're making pretty noise. You make a little pretty noise, you bitch. Is it like a type of TV show, like a reality? Do you want to know? I want to know. It means watershed, but in America. Watershed? Programs on after nine o'clock. Never heard of that. It's an open house. An open house. A house that's hey. open. Hey, come to my open house. Is it like a party where the doors open and everyone can just walk in? No. And rave? No. Um, an open house. Is it sent to school? Yes. Is it um, a classroom? It's not a classroom. When you're watching... Retweet if you're going to watch the news. When, when you're watching this video, tomorrow, everyone will be watching the final Breaking Bad and the final Dexter's last week. And The Walking Dead's coming back in a month or something. Come on, kids, you gotta come to the open house. Do you want another hint? Yeah. With your parents. With your parents. You gotta come to the open house with your parents. Open evening. Yeah. Really? Open house. Open house. The house is open. You can come and join. 
Come and join Kid. Come and join Kid in the Opera okay. House. Next American word is Dragus Method. Dragus Method. What is a traffic circle? A traffic circle is a roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get a cheeseburger. What is a sidewalk? A sidewalk. It's a pavement. That is the easiest one ever. Pull the rat. Shout out to Paul Lorette. Paul Lorette. For having the best name. I think it's two people because they Rick. said, we love your videos. Paul Lorette. Paul Lorette. Shout out to Paul Lorette. Also, shout out to Aidan Alexandra, Sean Johnson, and Ali Rigby. Also, tailpipe. Or a muffler. A muffler. Muffy. Tailpipe or a muffler. What is that called in Ooh. America? It's a part of a car. A tailpipe. Exhaust, exhaust pipe. A muffler. Exhaust pipe. Exhaust pipe. An exhaust pipe. Tip. When Top somebody says, two. gosh dang it, I'm beep. What does that mean? <laughs> gosh dang it, I am a fine, fine beep. Dude, I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Yes. I'm knackered. Right. I'm a farmer and I'm knackered. In America, when someone says, take off your pants, what do they mean? They mean your trousers. So on the holiday, there was this big, he was called a cruise director and he was called Drew Devine. And he is, a, he was born in Canada, lives in America, so he's American, and the ship's American, but everyone on it is British, right? Most people. And it's this big challenge show, game where, show, called, game the show Quest. called The Quest, where everyone has to do things really fast and get there really quickly, and he says, I need someone to run up, to have no pants on, and I need them to come to me and start dancing in front of me. And he goes, go! And all the music starts, he goes, wait, wait, no, no, no! no, no. no. Everyone starts taking off their pants. No, 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 not your pants! Your, what was it? The, your trouser! Tri trousers? Trousers! Okay, Danny, so what is a stroller? A stroller? Um, I watched, uh, I read a book, and it was an American kid. And he, when he was a baby, he had a thing called a stroller. And he sat in this thing, the little thing that walked through and going, dude, dude, and he can drink from it. Close. It was actually uh, a push chair. A push chair. Well, a he, buggy. And, and he had a thing that walked around on its own. It was, it was called uh, a stroller. Or <laughs> Can you please tell me what a nightstick? A nightstick is a is a police baton, also known as a trudging. A trudging. I'm gonna trudge you, mate. I'm gonna trudge you, mate. I'm gonna trudge you, mate. Okay, Danny, can you please tell me what a faucet is? A faucet? A faucet. A faucet. A faucet. A faucet, man! A faucet. I'm from Mon... Norkshire. Hasta la vista. Baby. I, I really don't know what a faucet is. You know what a faucet is? My guy, gosh, I don't know. Have you heard of it? I've never heard of it in my whole life. So How could you have not heard of a faucet? I don't know, I just know it popped into my mind. A faucet is a tap. A tap. A tap. Okay. A tap. They call it a faucet. <laughs> I, I faucet you. You're it. A tap. A tap. No, a tap. <laughs> a water tap. You're on, Sunny Jim. Fussball. Leckenspall. What's a band aid? A band-aid, a bandage. Okay. Hello, Marcel. What's a band-aid? Oh, that's easy, ham sandwich. I don't know what a band-aid is. That is actually quite hard one. A band-aid is a plaster. A plaster? Oh, I said a band-aid. My name is Mr. Peter Johnson. My name is Mr. Peter Johnson. What's a cupcake in England? Fairy cake. Yep, a fairy cake. A O okay. K. What is a zucchini? I don't know, I don't, I don't... I don't know what a zucchini is, George. A zucchini. A zucchini. You consume it, but you don't eat it. A cigarette. A zucchini. Zu go do that zucchini outside. What is an appetizer? An appetizer. Apple It's a fizzy apple. Is it a drink? No. An appetizer. Something that appetizes your apple. An appetizer? Can you make a clue? He's a starter. A starter. A oh, starter. an appetizer. I'm going to make an appetizer. So we'll just... Do, 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 do. What is a limer bean? A limer bean? A limer bean. Is it like a bean that like chills out? It's like a really intense bean that goes from limousine right? It's actually a broad bean. Okay, so thank you for watching our How to Speak American videos. Did we do well? I thought I'd done pretty well. I don't even know if those words really were American. I just found them off the internet. So don't say they were American. I... Th if 
we did miss an American word that we should have used, then leave it in the comments section and we will reply to you. There is a click to tweet button in the description and when you click it, it will post a tweet from your account saying, I just watched this video, which you're watching now, this is really cool, you should check it out, and it basically just broadens our audience. Subscribe to become a video. <laughs> Subscribe to become a video. <laughs> <laughs> Leave a like if you enjoyed this video because it somehow helps us out. Subscribe to be updated every time we release a new video, and we will see you next Sunday. Bye! Maybe it's some sort of bean or something. Maybe it might be like a bean or something. Do you think it's type of bean? Is it what type of bean? Maybe it's bean to create something. Is it so? It's a bean of some sort. Well, no. Or I'm not gonna say if it's a bean. It might be a bean. Or I'm not gonna say if it's a bean. It might be a bean. Maybe it's some sort of bean or something. Maybe it might be like a bean or something.